Can you spot the four beginner mistakes in this code? Well, let's break it down a bit. We have an average calculator class here with a method inside of it that checks to see if the passed in or expected average is correct for the given array of integers. Within this method, we declare the variables sum and average, and then we iterate through the numbers array and add each value to the sum. Finally, we calculate the average by dividing the sum by the number of elements in the numbers array. If the average is as expected, we'll let the client know that the average is correct. If it is not as expected, we'll let the client know that the average is incorrect. So what we have here is a very simple and straightforward program with some very common beginner mistakes. The first common mistake is using uninitialized variables. In this code, we're declaring the variable sum, and then we go straight into using the addition assignment operator on it to add the values from the numbers array to the current sum. The problem is, since we never initialize sum with any value, there is no initial value to add the right side value to. Average, on the other hand, is fine because here we're using the assignment operator to initialize the variable by assigning a value to it. Now this next one is notorious, and admittedly, even as an experienced developer, I find myself making this mistake more than I'd like to admit. This code, as it stands currently, won't compile because we're missing a semicolon before the I++ in this for loop. Now, at first glance, this block of code here looks correct. I mean, it reads correctly, right? If the average is equal to the expected average, then we'll let the client know that the average is correct. But the problem is we're trying to use the assignment operator to check for equality. If we want to check for equality, we must use a double equal sign. Now, the most common mistake is, in my opinion, caused by the fact that arrays are zero-based, which results in the highest index in an array being one less than the actual length of the array itself. The problems arise because people try to compensate for this incorrectly. For example, in the case of this code, we're subtracting one from the length of the array to compensate, but we've already compensated for this by using the less than operator here instead of the less than or equal to operator. So essentially, we're compensating twice, which results in us ignoring the last value in the array. So we can either fix this code by using the less than or equal to operator here, or we can keep using the less than operator and remove this minus one. And there you have it, four beginner programmer mistakes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.